Well, today we're going to be repainting another of the uh, Mattel superhero figures. And this was one that I haven't seen before, but I picked it up at uh, Midtown Comics in New York recently. And it's of uh, Shazam, played by Zachary Levi in the new film, which I haven't seen yet. It's meant to be very good. Um, it looks like it's a nice sculpt. Um, so I think it should come out quite well. It's got that weird... Maybe you can focus in on the eyes. It's that weird sort of newsprint eyes, which is just very strange. It's quite a nice figure. It's like Mattel's ones. It's all all jointed. Um, it might I might need to repaint the actual body this time because to, obviously for cheapness they've done like the gold bits here. That means what should be red is actually gold as well, and the same on the boots. So whole bottom of the leg is gold so I think this will need repainting if I repaint that red I'm never gonna match this I'm gonna have to repaint all the red but today we're gonna do the the mush um, normally I try and take the face off the head off but this one because there's no long girly hair I can leave it on and we can paint as is so usual base coat of Cadian flesh tone and that's lightened with a bit of uh, Vallejo light flesh and that's just going to be brushed all over. So all we're going to do is paint all the flesh parts. You don't need a couple of coats. And we're just painting to give us something to build on. Okay, so I'm going to give that another couple of coats and we can come back and we can start shaving. Okay, so I've given him a couple of coats of flesh. I've also managed to find a red that almost matches the body. So I've painted the bottom of the legs and the arms so that looks a lot better. But let's have a look and we're going to do some shading and as usual I'm going to use like I'm flesh shade. And we're just going to run this into all the nice sculpting work on the face. So I'm going to let that dry and we can come back and shade that off. Okay, so the wash has dried. You see it's a bit obvious. So what we're going to do is take a almost a dry brush and blend using the flesh colour, slightly lightened flesh colour, just blend some of this in. see it blends it in so you keep going doing that um, and then I'll carry on doing it off camera come back and we'll do the next step okay so you can see I've blended in the face I haven't blended in the neck yet so you can see the difference and basically all you're doing is trying to get a, a shade in going so now I'm going to mix a, a little bit of red with the flesh color just to, to bring out some sort of warmth around the cheeks and that uh, and then we'll use a much lighter flesh colour to highlight and then we can paint the eyes on that. There we go, a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin, there we go, that just brings out a bit of warmth. Uh, so now I'm going to mix some much much lighter shade of the uh, flesh wash. Once you've used red, if you're using the same brush, really clean it well because that red colour, high pigmentation, gets everywhere. If you're painting something nice and then red striping it, if I can find my white a word. <laughs> Just using produce citadel where I can, they're really, really good paints. And we'll just 
gives me a bit of this light colour just on the places it would get the light so on the nose forehead so now I'm going to while the whites open I'm going to paint in the eyes usually it takes a couple of coats for the eyes I'm also going to run a little bit of flesh wash back into the. Oh, actually, no, ignore that. I'm going to mix a lip colour, so a little bit more red, or a bit of red into the flesh colour. Let that dry, and we can come back. Well, there's eyes are dry. Um, I've got a slight complication. My little cat has decided to sit on my lap. Um, we've just been away on holiday and she's in a very loving mood when we get back. It's unlike going to a holiday home. Right, so um, I've been looking online trying to find out the uh, actor's eye colour. None of the photos particularly show it well, so I'm going to use my usual blue. Blue fits most people eye colour wise, so I'm just going to use some... Um, McCraggy, McCraggy Blue. Let's turn him up the right way and see if he's well guided. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. While well, that's drying, I'm going to run some <clears throat> some more flesh wash into the mouth because where we've highlighted it, etc., it's lost a bit of the definition. There we go. So I'm going to use a little bit of the lighter blue, which you can't find, so I'm just going to add some paint for a bit of a mess today. I'm going to add some white to the blue, just to make a lighter one, just to bring out some detail. Your eyes are not really blobs of the same colour. So now that's going to dry pretty quickly, so I'm going to use black for the pupil. I'm also going to do a very fine black line above the eye. I'm also going to paint in his eyebrows. I'm going to mix a very dark brown for that. So I'm going to use rhinoxide with a bit of black. Because again, most people, unless they've had tinted eyebrows, most people's eyebrows are not black. Excellent. So once that's dry, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, white dry brushing just to bring out a bit of detail on the eyebrows. But in the meantime, on the eyes, I'm going to add a little white dot, which is like the light reflection. It just makes it look like it's a sphere as opposed to a little flat bit. Too much. Get rid of some of that. Finish the neck area, it's doing exactly the same thing, and then we'll come back and do the uh, hair. Right, so I've done his neck. Put the shape to it, I've bronzed up his uh, goldy bits as well. So now we're going to do his hair, and we're going to do that again. going to mix rhinoxide with some of Adam Black to make a very, very, very dark brown. Pretty much black. So I'll finish painting his hair, we'll come back and we'll lighten it up a bit. Right, 
Okay, so the hair's dry, so I'm just going to do a light dry brushing. And I'm going to use a lighter brown. I'm going to use Mon Fang, which is a nice light brown colour. Not sure it needs the white actually. Because he's got real jet black hair. Which never look right. If you paint it black, never looks right. And he's just about done. Sorry, I uh, forgot a couple of steps, which is a bit silly of me. So uh, basically, I varnished where I said I was going to varnish, matte varnish. Um, the brown on the hair. It dried so you couldn't really see any of the highlights. So I have gone with a tiny little bit of white highlight in, which I think helps. Um, I've also run some uh, flesh wash just into the eyes just to, to dull down the, the bright whiteness I have. And I've put some uh, gloss uh, varnish just on the lips, which is still wet. I think it looks so much better now. It's just a little finishing touches. So body-wise, all I've done is painted the trim on his plastic cape. This is awful, the cloth one might get rid of it. Um, I have popped it down. I've painted in some of the gold highlights on his uniform. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to go and uh, give him some a matte varnish finish. I've also done a very light dry brushing just to bring out some of the detail on here. So I'm going to give that a, a coat of varnish as well. And then uh, he'll be done. But yeah, I think that's a, a brilliant likeness. I, I think it's a, they've caught the actor really well. It's got a lovely smirky expression. A little bit of naughtiness there. Um, so yeah, I don't think the hair needs white highlighting. Um, but yeah, so... Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these style videos, please like and subscribe. Let me know if there's any characters. I've got a, the next one I'm probably going to do, I also picked up in America, is Black Widow, which looks like a good sculpt, but terrible, terrible paint job. The articulation on those uh, Marvel figures is nowhere near the DC ones. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.